Greetings in Christ, brothers and sisters. As you already know, we will soon commit as the church to let's go. My fervent prayer is that the power of the Holy Spirit touches each of us who call Trinity home during this season. Let's go. Many of us are praying that our entire Trinity family joins us on this two-year journey. This is not something we want from you. It's something we want for you. We hope that this commitment card that we created for you becomes a discipleship tool to help you figure out what God is inviting you to consider as we take this journey together as a church and school. I want to take a moment to go through the card with you. If for some reason you haven't received a card yet, you can pick up one at the Let's Go Information Area at the Welcome Center in the narthex of the church. I'm going to walk you through the card. First, I want to show the gift pathway. This pathway helps you explore different possibilities for what the Holy Spirit may be prompting you to consider. I encourage a level that would delight our Heavenly Father and test you by faith. A gift you can envision yourself accomplishing over the next two years. Remember, this is your total giving to Trinity. So those of you that are already giving at a certain level, this is that current giving plus the extra generosity to accelerate the Let's Go vision here at Trinity. It's your total giving to Trinity, not an over-above gift as you might have done in previous church experiences. This represents your total joy-filled generosity to Trinity. Think of a number on there that would be doable. It is likely larger than your current giving. Think about what that number would be now if you let go. Perhaps that number is not the first one you consider. We are praying that we all grow together in generous response to all the Lord blesses us with each and every day. As you think about what level of generosity God might be prompting you to consider, think about it in this way. What would it look like for me to make a lifestyle change, for something in your life to be different, so that you can move from what's humanly easy to accomplish to what might bring delight to our Father by faith and by the power of the Holy Spirit? Does that mean you need to cut things out of your spending? Does that mean you need to let go of some stored resources? Does it mean that you, as a family, need to be more intentional about your habit of giving? What would be a lifestyle change that would create a space to equip and position to more effectively share the gift of salvation with others? Let's go. My brothers and sisters in Christ, I'm excited for this opportunity. Let's give room for the Holy Spirit to see what he does to us and through us and for others in behalf of Jesus. Let's go.